today we'll be treating chronic supraspinatus tendonitis, calcific supraspinatus tendonitis with the Gymna Shockmaster 300. We'll just change the head here to the 15mm convex head rather than the concave head. The convex head is the silver head, the concave head is the copper coloured head. We're going to turn up the power, go up to about 2 bar and we're going to go for about 2,000 shocks. You see there's a few shocks on the machine already. I'll bring it up to 14 hertz and reset the shock counter. And coming to 14 hertz as the shoulder tends to be a lot more sensitive than other parts of the body and faster treatment rates are actually easier to tolerate. Let me just bring the uh, gel around the head and uh, around the shoulder and then start the treatment working from one side of the shoulder to the other side of the shoulder there may be painful areas that you might want to concentrate on in this case there's a painful area at the back and a focal area, a painful area at the front some people would call those trigger point areas they're probably just the most tender part of the supraspinatus tendon in the condition as it is at the moment it's not unusual to just stop on those areas and deliver about 200 shocks actually to deliver enough shocks to produce cavitation on a single area you'd really be looking at about 500 to 600 shocks so we're not trying to create too much cavitation uh, into the shoulder continue just working our way backwards and forwards around the shoulder around the supraspinatus tendon working from front to back again just loitering on an area for a couple of hundred shocks if that area is uh, particularly sensitive you might find that if you uh, do more than 200 shocks the patient just may not be able to tolerate the pain if that's the case move off the area and come back again and do another 200 shocks on the area And just keep working backwards and forwards across the tendon until the 2,000 shocks are reached. It's quite important when you're doing the shoulder that the patient doesn't do too many impact loading activities either during or for immediately after the treatment, I say for four weeks after the treatment. Impact loading activities include sports like tennis, squash, activities like climbing, press-ups, certain weight training activities particularly above shoulder height weight training activities and behind the neck activities like pull-downs behind the neck or presses behind the neck